In my opinion, Moonlight is the most reliable way to stream your games from your PC to your Android handheld. Let me go ahead and show you how to get that set up. To begin, download Moonlight from the Google Play Store and install the latest version onto your device. Once you find it in the Google Play, go ahead and launch it and it'll automatically search for local PCs on your network running an NVIDIA GPU. Select the PC that you want to pair it with and enter the PIN provided by the app in the prompt that appears in the bottom right corner of your screen, then hit connect once you've done that. We need to adjust a few things in the GeForce experience, so let's go ahead and open that up. After launching the app, click the gear icon in the top right corner to access your settings page. Then click the shield tab and we're going to need to add two titles, desktop and steam big picture mode. This will allow you to launch into the desktop or steam big picture mode directly from your handheld. To add the desktop option, click the add button, then navigate to the target exe folder in the windows system32 folder, then search for the mstsc.exe. Go ahead and set the name as desktop and go ahead and add an icon for it if you want as well. You can also change the box art for these shortcuts at any time. Once you've selected all that and you've added some custom box art to that, make sure to go ahead and save that. You can name this to whatever you want, but I just usually call it desktop. Once we've added that, we're going to have to add one more, which is the Steam Big Picture Mode option. You're going to need to create a batch file that'll add the following command, which will boot your PC directly into the Steam Big Picture Mode once this is launched on your handheld. You can see that the target line here is loading the batch file directly, not Steam itself. Let me show you how to get that batch file set up correctly. I'll go ahead and leave this command in the description below, but you're going to have to adjust it if you've installed Steam to a different location. Once you've got that set up, go ahead and hit File Save As, then select the Type As All Files, then add a .bat for a batch file at the end. Then make sure that you know where you're saving it. I'm going to save it on my D drive here. Since I've already got this saved, I'm just going to hit Cancel, but just make sure that you know where you're putting it. You can add that the same way that you added the desktop icon. Once you've done that, let's load up Moonlight and set a few other options. Click on the gear in the top left corner to access the settings menu. First we need to adjust the video resolution depending on your network and the device you're streaming to. For most emulation devices like the Retroid Pocket 3 or Odin, a 720p stream should look great on that size of panel. Leave the video frame rate at 60fps for smoother gameplay. Go ahead and adjust the bitrate to 15 or 25 megabits per second for screens smaller than 6 inches. If you're streaming at 1080p or more, you might want to update the bitrate to about 30 or 40 megabits per second. Make sure to set the frame pacing to the lowest latency for optimal performance. You also want to make sure that you're using your 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. If you scroll down a little bit in the options menu, you want to make sure to select the option touchscreen as trackpad for navigating windows and mouse input in games. Select the swap face buttons if needed if you want the Xbox style layout depending on your controller. You also want to make sure to uncheck the optimized game settings since we already have the optimized graphic settings in our games. One of the most important settings that we need to change is the codec settings which should be down near the bottom in the options menu under advanced settings. Tap on HEVC settings to change that. Set the codec settings to prefer HEVC. This effectively halves the bitrate requirements to get the same level of fidelity out of our game streaming. There are a few other options that we can adjust in the settings menu, but I recommend turning on performance stats while streaming for now, just while we test it to make sure that it's working correctly. With all of our settings fixed, we can now boot up to make sure that it's working correctly. Let's load up the Steam Big Picture to test it. Upon booting it up, you can see that the network latency and the hardware decoding latency is excellent at only usually about 2-3 to three milliseconds on each. However, the aspect ratio is a little messed up so let's close this for now and fix that. Exit out of Moonlight and quit the session. If we go back into our resolution options, we can try a couple of these other ones but they usually don't help the situation. If we set it to native, you can see that it doesn't fix the problem. Let's boot that up and I'll show you what I mean. 
With the resolution swapped, you can see that the aspect ratio is still messed up. This is a pretty common bug, but it's relatively easy to fix. Let me show you how to fix that next. Make sure to quit your Moonlight stream and head back over to your PC to load up the NVIDIA control panel. To fix the aspect ratio bug, you're going to need to disable the integer scaling or your scaling mode on your GPU. I had mine set to integer scaling, but I've also tried the full screen and the aspect ratio as well, and those seem to produce the same visual bugs. Once you've set your scaling mode to no scaling, make sure you set your resolution to something similar to the same aspect ratio on the streaming device. I'm using an ultra wide screen here for my main rig, so that doesn't really translate well to a handheld. With those settings swapped, let's check it out in a game. I'm just going to load up a relatively simple game just to see how it works. I'll load up Retrowave and give that a try. You can see that I set the video stream back to 720p and that the network latency and the decoding time are relatively excellent. If you're noticing any visual artifacts in your games, make sure to turn up your bitrate settings. And if it's slowing down a little bit and you're experiencing bad network latency, make sure to turn it down. There's also another bug which causes your stream to completely freeze and crash. Make sure to go to your graphics settings in your PC and turn off the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Variable refresh rate can also cause issues, but I haven't had any with leaving it on. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling though needs to be shut off. Make sure to restart the PC after disabling that. With these settings adjusted, you can enjoy a flawless streaming experience on your handheld device. Because Moonlight does a great job of keeping the latency low and the device I'm using is doing a good job with the hardware decoding, I'm not having any issues playing games that require quick reaction time like Neo 2. Overall, streaming is a great way to get some fun couch gaming time in away from your desk. Streaming is also relatively light on battery life, so even with a bigger device like the Steam Deck, you're still getting a good amount of playtime in. If you want a more detailed image, increase the bitrate, but be careful of the latency. This is probably the best way to stream your games away from your gaming desktop. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll keep all the required links in the description.